Hi and welcome to climbingarbrush.com. In this video I'm going to cover industry best practices for tying onto a spar pole um, and why industry best practices say certain configurations are the best uh, to use. So obviously when you're on a spar you're blocking down, you've got your lanyard on <clears throat> and you've got your main line or you might choose to have two main lines because um, on, on a spar pole doesn't really make any difference. Um, it just means that you have, rather than a 10 foot tail, you have a 150 foot tail. So you've got basically your two points of attachment. So you always would have the one that's attached to your, the lower Ds or the side Ds, the one that you is taking the, your weight and your, your main tie-in is actually, or your main primary rope is lower down and it's kind of loose it's just there you know as more of a backup and a means to the ground or means for rescue that kind of thing um, so what industry best practices say is that you should always use a choking off system like a tie-in method so what that means is if you're climbing on a stationary rope system you've got a few options you've got um, most common is just tie uh, a running bowline. So I've got here a running bowline with a Yosemite tie off, and I've actually backed it up as well with a figure of eight knot. Now, if you're using this Yosemite tie off backup, um, I think that's completely acceptable as long as it's tied right. So you just need to understand how to dress that knot properly um, so that it doesn't kind of work loose. So you wouldn't need a backup but it, if you've got the extra like three foot of tail you can tie a little backup in then then why not um, so that's one method a second method would be use something like a quickie so just uh, you would just connect the quickie direct to the eye and around the rope and then you've just got a choked off system using the quickie there's another method that, that some people use, which would be just choking off using a carabiner, so through the eye, through the carabiner. Now that has been a, a contentious subject, contentious topic in recent times. Um, it was always taught to me and to, to a lot of people that that was a no-no, you shouldn't be choking off directly with the carabiner. Um, but there's, there's been various arguments, so some people do that, and you know, I, on a on a big spar pole as a backup line, I don't, I personally don't see an issue, but uh, there are there are certainly different ways and possibly better ways that you could do it. So that's uh, another option if you like to do it that way. And then um, I'll go on to the moving rope systems. For a moving rope configuration system, um, the, your main and best option for a cinching uh, lifeline is using a adjustable friction saver. Um, so I often use uh, an adjustable ring and ring just in all tree work that I do because having that ad adjustability, um, you know, whether it be using it as a canopy anchor in moving rope system or doubled rope or moving rope systems um, adjustable friction savers are, are one of the most simple but best uses of a, or best items for a friction saver this is actually a Buckingham tree squeeze which is specifically designed for spar pole work because it's like a stiff rigid version and it's pretty long so you can get around some big chunky wood um, so the way that the this works is you adjust the small ring so that it's just shorter than being able to touch the large ring and that means that when you put your weight into the rope oi, see we nearly we nearly needed it for a second there when you put your weight into the rope it cinches around the trunk so if you were to take a fall, it's going to cinch around the trunk and you know, you're, you're going to fall a few feet and like I said before, it, 
you, know, you might fall a few feet, but it's going to save some broken bones and scrapes and face plants and all that kind of stuff. So, um, industry best practices: you use a cinching system, whether it be on a moving rope or a single rope or stationary rope system. Thanks for watching.